7.2, numbers 7 and 14. Both of these problems have to do with dividing rational expressions. This is exactly the same as multiplying with one step at the beginning. First, we change it to a multiplication problem and flip the second fraction, or take its reciprocal. And then we follow the exact same steps as multiply. Factor, cancel, multiply across numerators and across denominators. So let's go ahead with number 7. First thing we do is change it to a multiply problem. 49x to the fourth over 7x to the fifth times, flip over this one, 5x to the seventh over 7x to the sixth. Next we would factor, but these are already um, factors being multiplied together. We don't have any separate terms, so we're going to go right to the cancel step. So let's see, we've got 7 and 49 both contain a 7, so let's divide by 7 top and bottom leaves us a 1 and a 7. Then over here I see that there's a 7 and a 7, so let's cancel out those common ones. Divide by 7 top and bottom, those leave us each with a 1. And then for the x's, here we have x to the 4th, x to the 5th, so let's divide by x to the 4th top and bottom, leaves us 1 on top, leaves us just an x from the x to the 5th. And then we have x to the 7, x to the 6th, and that leaves us, if we cancel out the x to the 6, it leaves us 1 on top. And then these x's here cancel out, 1 top and bottom, those are gone. And we're left with a 5. And nothing on the bottom, or just 1. So the answer is 5. So that's number 7, let's take a look at number 14. <coughs> First step, change it to multiply and flip the second fraction. So we have w squared minus 3w minus 10 all over w squared minus 4w plus 4 times, flip it, or reciprocal, w minus 2, w minus 5. Now we have separate terms, so we're going to try to factor. So factoring the first one, it's a trinomial, so go for the binomial factors. We have w and w, factors of 10 that are different signs, which means they cancel out to be a 3. So 5 and 2 would work. We want a minus 3, so put the larger one, the 5, with the minus sign. And then just quickly check it. w squared minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3, minus 10. That works. Next one, trinomial again. So we go w, w, same signs that are negative and they have to be factors of 4 that add up to negative 4, so we're going to use 2 and 2. w squared minus 2w minus 2w is minus 4w, plus 4, checks out. And the next two we can't factor, so we're just going to leave them like they are. Now we start looking for common factors. w minus 5, top and bottom, is gone. w minus 2, top and bottom, is gone. w plus 2, over w minus 2. And we're going to stop here because we don't want to go in and cancel the w and the w or the 2 and the 2 because they're not factors. They're separated by a plus or a minus sign from another piece which means they are separate terms and we never want to cancel something unless we can factor it out. So we stop right there. <coughs>